In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get every badge in NBA 2K20 Mobile. So the first thing I've got to tell you about are these things called exclusive badges. And that means that only that build can get it. You cannot unlock them during gameplay or anywhere else. It all depends on what build you chose. You get two per build. So let's get into it. So for the slasher build, the exclusive badges are Acrobat and Killer Crossover. For the Lockdown Defender, we have Interceptor and Eraser. For the Playmaker, we have Lob City Passer and Dimer. For the Spot Up Shooter, we have Corner Specialist and Catch and Shoot. And for the Shot Creator, we have Fade Ace and Shot Creator. Now for the Small Forward, Power Forward and Center, there are some extra ones. And those are Glass Cleaner, which is Offensive Crasher and Defensive Crasher. Post Score, which is Post Proficiency and Post Playmaker. And that is about it. And so now I'm going to be telling you the ones that every build can get and I'm going to be going in order as well. So the first one we have cool and collected and to get that badge you have to not go cold for 10 straight games. And going cold is basically when you miss 3 or 4 shots in a row. It does not actually show the symbol like the console has it. The next one we have closer and that is make 40 field goals in the last 2 minutes of the 4th quarter or overtime and shoot 50% or better. The next one on this list we have floor general and to get that you need to average 5 or more assists over a 30 game period. And next up we have defensive anchor and all you have to do to get this badge is play at least 30 games so it has nothing to do with how you play as long as you play through 30 games of the season you should get it. Next up we've got microwave and to do this you have to get hot for 5 consecutive games Next up we've got Unfazed and it's kind of like Microwave, but for this one you have to get hot 12 times for at least a minute in a span of 15 games. So if I was to get hot to keep the streak going, I would have to continue to make baskets. The next one we have Deadeye and that is actually our first shooting one. And to get this you have to make 100 contested jumpers from at least 15 feet. And 15 feet, if any of you don't know, is like mid-range level. So as long as you are around the top of that circle above the free throw line, you should get it. Here we have got another shooting one, and this is limitless range. And to get this, you have to make 30 deep threes, which is 26 feet or further, and shoot 30% or higher while you are doing it. So a deep three is basically three or four feet back from the three point line. For the next one we have got post riser and to get this you have to attempt 15 contact dunks. It does not matter if they go in or not. For the next one we have got highlight film and to get this all you have to do is make 30 dunks. So most builds should be able to get this badge. Next up we have got hustle points and this one is score 30 times within 2.5 seconds of grabbing an offensive rebound. The next one on this list we have got screen outlet and to do this all you have to do is set 100 screens so basically if you just set a screen for your teammates every single time you go up the floor you should get this in your first four games or so next up we have got the finisher badge and to get this all you have to do is attempt 75 contact layups next up we have got our first dribbling badge and this is called spin kingpin and to get this all you have to do is attempt 75 spin moves so it does not matter if you actually make it around the defender you just have to attempt it and if any of you don't know how to do that you just have to use the right stick and twist it a full circle and you will do a spin move here we have another dribbling one and this is step back freeze and to get this you have to attempt 75 step back dribbles so if you don't know how to do a step back dribble basically when you're driving you have to move the right stick which is the dribble stick diagonally back to the left or right next we have behind the back pro and to do this you have to attempt 75 behind the back moves and if you don't know how to do that you just move the right stick down and you will perform a behind the back move the next one we have got break starter and to get this badge you have to grab 250 defensive rebounds in the next one on this list we have got pick and roll maestro and to get this you just have to call for 175 screens so if you have the ball and you click the call slash set pick button you will call a screen next up we have the on court coach badge and to get this you just have to play 20 games it does not matter how you perform in these games as long as you just play through them without simulating them you will get this badge Next up we have the Lockdown Defender Badge and to get this you have to play at least 30 games kind of like the On Court Coach Badge you don't have to do anything you just have to play games throughout your season and you will get the Lockdown Defender Badge. 
Next up we've got Pick Dodger, one of the more useless badges in this game, but all you have to do is upgrade your defensive rating to an 80 and play at least 20 games. And now we're into pickpocket and to get this you have to poke 50 balls loose it does not matter if you actually get the steal. Next up we have active hands and to get this badge you have to get 50 steals from players attempting layups or dunks. So it's kind of like a block but it's right before they are actually going to jump. So if you get that steal there 50 times you will get this badge. Next up we've got chase down artist and to earn this badge you have to get 25 blocks. It does not matter if it is a chase down block as long as you get 25 blocks you will get this badge. Next up we've got Bruiser and to get this badge you have to perform 25 back down post scores. So a back down post score is not resulting in a fadeaway, it is either taking a hook shot and making it or doing a standing dunk. Next up we've got Brick Wall and to get this you need to get 25 screen assists. So if you don't know what a screen assist is, it is basically when you set a screen and your player cuts to the basket and that screen is resulting in them having an easy path and they make the bucket and it will say at the top on your teammate grade section that you got a screen assist. Next up we have one man fast break and to get this you have to score 50 times on a fast break. And for the last one on this list we have got the Gatorade Perform Pack and to get this you have to play 20 games averaging 80% of teams minutes. So basically if you're playing 38 and a half minutes or more a game for 20 games you will get this badge. And that is going to do it for this video. I hope this helped you out. If you have not already done so, please like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications. It would mean a lot to me. And I will see you in the next one. I'm out.